This question describes a scenario where we're given the frequency of our input signal, we're given the dynamic range, or we're given the peak-to-peak -peak value of our signal, and we're told that that ma matches the dynamic range of a quantizer. We're told that the sample rate is 50% higher than the Nyquist rate, and we're given indirectly the bit depth of the quantizer. So we're given the number of quantization steps or levels. And we're asked a series of questions. The first question is about the maximum quantizer error. So the quantizer error is related to the step size. So if we have a, a step size of delta, which we can find by taking the dynamic range of the quantizer, dividing it by the number of levels. And in this case, that's the peak-to-peak -peak voltage divided by a number of levels. Then the quantization error, the maximum quantization error, will be exactly one half of that. So the quantization error, E max, equals half the step size. So that's the peak-to-peak -peak voltage divided by 2 times L. So we can say that E max is the peak-to-peak -peak voltage, which is 5 minus minus 5 over 2 times L is the number of steps, 256. So we can calculate that as 0 0.0195 volt, because it's an error measured in volts. Second question, how many bits are required to encode each digitized sample? That's just another way of asking for the bit depth, n. So n is simply log to the base 2 of L. L being the number of levels, in this case, 256. So that gives us 8 bits. The next question asks for the resulting bit rate. So we have a sampler following, followed by a quantizer. The sampler produces FS, samples per second. And the quantizer produces n bits for every sample. So the bit rate is just the product of the two. So if you multiply the sample rate, and we're given the sample rate indirectly, we're told that it's 50% higher than the Nyquist rate. The Nyquist rate being twice the frequency of the um, uh, signal, or twice the highest frequency of the signal. So let's say Fn is 2 times 1000. So therefore the sample rate is 1.5 times the Nyquist rate. So it's 3 kilohertz, because it says 50% higher. 50% higher is like saying 1 plus 50 over 100 multiplied by Fn. So that's where that came from. So now we know Fs, the sample rate. All we need to do is multiply that by the number of bits. So the bit rate will be n times Fs. So that's 8 times 3,000. So that'll give me 24 kilobit per second. Final question. It says, how would the data rate, so how would NFS, it says data rate, and they're asking about N times FS. How would that change if the number of 
quantization levels were doubled. So number of quantization levels doesn't affect Fs, it affects N. How does it do that? Well, N is log to the base 2 of L. So if L were to be multiplied by 2, what would happen to N? Well, N would just become N plus 1. You can try that. You can, you can actually find it. You can say, well, if um, L were to become 256 times 2, then N is just log 512, which is 9. So it's like adding one bit. So what would happen to the data rate if N is increased by 1? So at the moment, um, the data rate, let's call it, Dr. So the data rate initially is just um, 8 times 3000 equals 24 kilobit per second. Data rate 2, after doubling the number of levels, would become 9 times 3000, which is 27 kilobit per second. So you can say the data rate would increase by a factor of 9 over 8. And more generally, we could say it would increase by a factor of m plus 1 over n. So 9 over 8 is a specific example given in this question, but in general, if you double the number of quantization levels, the data rate would increase by a factor of m plus 1 over n. And that's your final answer.